Hey everybody, Alex Kaufman here with Type Q Real Estate. Today I wanna to talk about the importance of following up, especially with uh, sellers when you're trying to get an off-market deal and really just in anything that you're trying to accomplish in sales, how important the follow-up process is. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's dive in. So when you're following up with an off-market seller, um, it's very unlikely that you're going to get a, a yes, I'd like to sell my property to you at a discounted price on the uh, first phone call, the first email, or when you're first talking to them. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It's very important to follow up with this person, start building up a relationship, start to understand their backstory, start to understand what's important to them, what do they need, why do they want to sell, um, what do they need to, to achieve out of the sale, do they need help moving their stuff out of the property, do they need to sell by a certain date. There's many things that you can get into and it's, it's just really important to understand the full story and start building up a relationship with this person. It's very unlikely that you're gonna close a, a deal on the first contact. Actually, the statistics show that the sale happens between eight and 12 contacts. So you're gonna need to follow up with this person between eight to 12 times, statistically speaking, to be able to get a deal done. Um, and there's many ways to be creative with follow-up. You don't have to call the seller or whoever you're trying to contact every single day and say, Hey, this is Alex with TRE. Are you ready to sell your property to me? You know, you got to get creative. You got to start building up a relationship. Ask them how their day is doing. Maybe send them an article about the Austin real estate market. Maybe send them an article about you know how easy the moving process is and finding another property uh, maybe send them some informational videos um, about your company or yourself take a selfie video and text it to them um, send them a, send them your youtube channel if you're like us at tre so there, there's many ways to to be creative in the follow-up you have to stay consistent with it and you have to be able to move past the discouragement that you may feel each time you reach out to this person and they tell you no um, I've been on phone calls before where we're talking to a client and we've asked this client eight times in a row, same phone call within a matter of two minutes where we said, are you ready to do it? You ready to do it? No, 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 no. And on that ninth time we asked, they said, okay, just send over the contract and I'll send over money. And you know, it's that simple. If we would have stopped at the, the, five, the fifth time that we asked them to, to move forward, um, we wouldn't have gotten that deal done. And so you can apply this to anything sales in your business, you know, off market sellers, properties on the MLS. There's a lot of times that we're making offers on uh, properties that are listed on the market with a broker or an agent. We get told no, you know, they may even go under contract one, two, three, four times. The price gets decreased, you know, four or five times if the property stand on the market for a while. And we stay in contact each and every time that contract gets dropped that uh, price gets decreased and just throughout the entire uh, time the property is listed on the market and that's how we get really really good deals is continuously staying in contact with them continuously following up seeing how we can get a deal done here one of matt and i's biggest deals that we got done um, we followed up with this broker for three and a half months every three days sending over new contracts, new offers, uh, new ways to get the deal done. And finally, after three and a half months, we got a new contract signed, 120,000 below our original asking price. We got the deal done. And it was one of the biggest deals we've had to date. So stay consistent with your follow-up. Uh, think of creative ways to follow up and make sure you're building up a relationship with the seller, with the broker, with the agent whoever you're trying to close on this transaction. Hopefully you guys found this valuable. Uh, reach out to us, drop a comment below on your favorite ways to follow up. Let us know if we can help out in any way and we'll see you next time.